Well, we're excited to have back on the show Congressman Greg Stuvey from House Ways and Means. It's good to see you again. Yeah, so thanks for having me, Liz. It's great to have you on. So the president's electric car mandate, forcing America to buy only electric cars, it's looking like a debacle. Top fire department officials testified to House Science Subcommittee last week. Fire department's not ready for the coming meteoric rise in electric car, battery, and lithium ion, fire, ion fires across the country. What's going on, Congressman? Yeah, I can tell you an interesting story from my district in Hurricane Ian when we had the flooding and the catastrophic flooding that we had in my district. EVs that were flooded also caught on fire and then burned houses down. Uh, so th that's a huge problem, not that just our fire departments are going to face, but these EVs have these problems where they catch on fire. I saw another article where there was a, an airport parking lot and they caught on fire and it caught everything else on fire around it because the intensity of the heat from these are so significant that the fire department can't get to it uh, and do much with it. So it's endangering uh, the safety and welfare of our firefighters and it's a real hazard uh, to the American people and those people that have purchased those vehicles. You know, the White House is not talking about this. It's not talking about how electric car batteries lose half their power in like 10 years, how the weight, they're heavier than gas cars, the weight will tear up bridges and roads that they're spending hundreds of billions on. Let's listen to fire official Dan Muncy. He's a fire chief for San Bernardino County, Congressman. He testified, yeah, the fire departments nationwide are not ready. Let's get your reaction to this. Watch. Chief. As fire chief of San Bernardino County, do you believe your fire department is fully prepared to handle the challenges that come with rapid rise of EV ownership uh, in your area of expertise? No, nor do I believe that the fire service is ready as a whole. We need to ensure that we are enacting legislation that the manufacturer of these electric vehicles prevent fires from happening. Yeah, but you know what? That's not happening. You know, it takes up to no. 8,000 8, gallons of water over many hours to put just one of these fires out. Now, let's get back to your home state of Florida. When the hurricanes hit, the ocean salt water comes in. That triggers spontaneous combustion, combustion of electric car batteries and lithium ion battery, batteries. They're not just in cars. They're in golf carts and scooters. Yep. Yeah, and, and the, just like you said, the Biden administration's pushed for this. He's pushed to the far left of the progressive part of his party that thinks that we should be spending all of this money on these EVs. When the American people, if you look at surveys, you look at polls, they don't want EVs. They want vehicles and they can get uh, large distances. They want to be able to have the type of vehicles that they want. They don't want the government telling them what type of car and vehicle that they can purchase. And uh, it's unfortunate that the Biden administration and the Democratic Congress in the Senate keep moving in that direction to try to force every American into vehicles, one, they don't want, and two, are dangerous. What are your colleagues going to do about it? What do you think? Well, we obviously have a very pro-energy agenda here in the House. Um, before the, the, the Republicans took over the majority, um, there was a lot of money that went to these EV uh, programs where you got 7,500, 8,500 bucks to be able to purchase that. We will obviously uh, shut that down. And my hope is, is that we focus on making the United States um, the energy place of the world and the country and make us energy efficient again. So you worried about this, right? What's coming out of the White House? Yeah, absolutely. It's not uh, the direction that, that Americans want us to go. Congressman Greg Stubbe, we really appreciate you coming on. It's good to see you again. Come yeah, back you soon, too. okay? Thanks for having me.